This is a usual ionic engine. Its design is quite simple. A high voltage is applied to the copper wire and an ionic wind appears, which creates thrust. In fact, there is absolutely no moving parts, which means that the rear of such an engine is very small and it does not require high precision. But the thrust is also very small. And can't even put out my candle. Even my weak jet engine can do it. Uh, we have one big problem with this type of ionic engine. When we generate an ionic wind uh, and when it exits from the engine, it essentially dissipates. And I should find the solution of this problem. We need to focus all of this wind. So I think the best uh, what I can do is to make a nozzle like an jet engine. But then I thought. What if we make the nozzle one of the electrodes and instead of a bunch of parallel wires just make a round electrode in the form of a crown? Why a crown you ask? Because on the negative side you need to point it object. Well, everything is ready, let's do the first test. To power the motor I use the cheapest high voltage transformer I can find on the internet. I soldered a connector from an old TV to it, so now it connects to my phone charger. I will also use a cool button uh, from a real jet fighter that glows in the dark. So, one, two, three, four, let's go! And uh, it works, at least uh, it makes noise. Uh, let's now check with the candle. So, boom, it's much better than the previous version. So far, I don't have a small battery to power a portable engine, but when I do, I'll definitely make something like an ionic powered mini Zeppelin. Maybe. Well, that's all for today, but before you leave, I want to make a little announcement for the next videos. A nuclear reactor.